Hi, my name is Dulcie Hill, and today I want to talk about secondary chronic progressive MS, or SPMS. And what I want to talk about is that uh, um, before medication, almost everybody with relaxing remitting would go into this, this stage of MS as a secondary stage. After about 10 years, 50% people would go into that. After 25 years, 90% of people with relaxing remitting MS went into chronic progressive or secondary chronic progressive. Now, there are two types of uh, uh, chronic progressive or secondary progressive MS. One is the active and the other is the inactive. Inactive is classically when your immune system is not in this inflammation state. No disease modifying therapies can, uh, can help at that point because the disease has calmed down and right now your disability, all your old activity that happened seems to be getting worse. Your brain is now shrinking and these, these past damage is now, it's called, the, the nerves are breaking. And now uh, the only medications that are good for that seems to be rituximab, nabontrone seems to help. And uh, there's uh, one oxacryl, ox, oxacrylamab, I, I think I said that wrong, uh, and the other one is Ibutilis, which is going to be coming out soon, and that happens to repair uh, the nerves in some way. So there are good things we can hope for, for both uh, phases of uh, secondary progressive. The other active MS uh, secondary progressive is a little scarier. That's the one I have. It's when you have both phases, you've got a, uh, a, a quieting of your disease uh, activity where things are shutting down and things are breaking and your old symptoms are getting worse, um, but you also have a side that is active. It's, it's very aggressive form of uh, the disease and it needs to be managed with disease modifying medications. Uh, Lemtrada, Tisabri, these kind of medications, because you've got to keep that monster squelched down um, to make the best out of everything. Uh, that is basically what I have to say. This, this uh, period of time when you have this, it's so important to do exercise to maintain uh, as much strength and ability as you can. For instance, uh, I, I showed the doorknob squats. That's important. Uh, maintain your diet. Eat every two to four hours, even if you don't feel like it. Um, eat. Uh, concentrate on having well-rounded meals uh, or having vegetables one serving and, and uh, oats the next serving. You can even email me, and I'll, I'll give you some ideas on how to make uh, a breakfast, custard, casserole that you can just open up and eat throughout the week. Um, you know, peanut butter is a great thing. But these are ways we have to adapt with a, uh, a second phase of MS. You know, we're, we're all in this together. And uh, um, please uh, go to msfrontiers.org, I think. I don't know if you can see that. These are t-shirts there. Um, if you go to the website, you will see exercises, symptom management, and different medications there. Um, also, different people who can help you get through this. Uh, there's Facebook support groups, and it'll tell you there on that website. And uh, I just encourage everybody to go there. Anyway, God bless you. Um, I pray for you, and uh, please subscribe and keep coming back. Thank you.